These are some of the grade 1 magistrates who took oath before Chief Justice Bart Katurebe at High Court in Kampala. These are going to be posted to different courts across the country. As it is a norm that taking on another responsibility comes on with its own challenges, corruption is the most notable one in the judicial sector. According to the IGG Corruption Report 2008, police was ranked 80% and the judiciary 79% were recorded as the most corrupt government institutions in the eyes of the people. These were followed by URA at 77%, district local government at 74%, Umeme at 73%, and Persons Department at 71%. It's against this background that Chief Justice Bart Katurebe has called on the newly appointed good one magistrates to desist from engaging the vice that is eating up the judiciary. If you come to become a magistrate because you have no other job, then you are in the wrong place. If you come to become a magistrate hoping that you will make money because there are all these allegations against us, then you are in the wrong place, you will end up in jail. His call comes at a time when corruption in the judiciary has reached unprecedented levels as illustrated in the IEG report of 2008. Katreva says failure to do so, the judges will face hefty punishments. As young people, imagine what would happen to you if tomorrow you are put before the Judicial Science Commission and you are found guilty of corruption and you are dismissed. Your life is finished. Where else would you ever go? Because even if you go to private practice, maybe even the law council will refuse to give you a practicing certificate. However, this comes amid its negotiations between the Justice and Constitution Affairs Ministry of Parliament over salary increment of state attorneys and judges who handle sensitive cases of government involving billions of shillings. State attorneys are said to earn 800,000 shillings. This literally means chances are high of government losing a case involving billions of shillings when the state attorney is tempted with kickbacks involving billions. True, we are not adequately remunerated. That's a fact. We are not adequately remunerated, but we should never use lack of remuneration, lack of inadequate remuneration as an excuse to be corrupt. That must never be an excuse at all. Say, after all, we are getting little money, other people are getting more money, so if I can uh, bend this fire here and there, uh, it's excusable. No, it's not excusable, under no circumstances. In a bit to improve judicial service administration in accordance to the new wave of technology, laptops have also been distributed to different chief magistrates to fight case backlog. Laptops, you have the opportunity to adopt flexible working times and places. You'll be able to type, you'll be able to type your judgments before delivery, producing the chances of leaked judgments and delays in executing judgments and processing appeals. The judicial sector promises to distribute laptops to all other officers among them, magistrates and chief magistrates as well as judges in the next two years. Shamim Batalo, WS News.